Hello and welcome to Metals Daily News brought to you by Metals Update, the driving force behind your business. I am Rinku Jain from the Mumbai office on 2nd February 2018. In Iron and Steel, as per media reports, equipment manufacturing has surpassed iron and steel to become the pillar industry of North China's Hebei province. The head of the Provincial Statistics Bureau said that the equipment's manufacturing accounted for 27% of the industrial value added of the province in 2017. It was 2.2 percentage points higher than the share contributed by the iron and steel sector. He said, Equipment manufacturing contributed to nearly 88.9% of the industrial growth in the province last year, with huge investment poured into the sector. The percentage was 18.9% in 2013. The shift came after Hebe made efforts to cut iron and steel production capacity for structural economic transformation as well as pollution control. From 2013 to 2017, the province overshot its five-year target and cut production capacity of steel and iron by 70 million and 64 million tons respectively. It plans to further cut 10 million tons of iron and steel capacity this year. In base metals, as per media report, Glencore's production was less than the most commodities in 2017, reflecting the impact of disposals and maintenance of work and weather. The trading and mining company said that the copper production for the month of December decreased by 8% to 1.3 million metric tons. But the company also declared that the copper output for the fourth quarter from the previous quarter increased by 20%. Nickel production decreased by 5% to 1,9100 tons, while zinc production was in line with the year before at 1.1 million tons, according to the company. The company said coal production decreased by 3% to 121 million tons. According to the company, the decrease was due to the constraints on production due to smelter maintenance, end of life production declines, a shortage of sulfuric acid, and the partial sale of Ernest Henry mine in Australia industrial action and weather conditions which were slightly offset by improvements in productivity. In domestic ferrous offers, Metals Update assessed offers of MS scrap from Mandi Gobindga market at Rs 24,300 per tonne, while MS ingot at Mandi Gobindga has been quoted at Rs 34,500 per tonne. At Mumbai and Bhivadi, the ingot offers have been recorded at Rs 34,100 and Rs 33,700 per tonne respectively. Thank you for watching. Join us again tomorrow for the latest update from the metals market. Visit metalsupdate.com and metalsupdate.tv for more information. And do not forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Have a great day ahead.